When I first started making wing bags about four years ago, I knew there would be an industrial sewing machine in my future. Well, it's here. This is the Sailrite Fabricator Deluxe Package. The fabricator is made of iron and steel with very little plastic involved. It's apparent that the folks at Sailrite just don't understand the whole concept of cutting corners or cheap materials. Part of the deluxe package is a solid maple table. There just isn't any shake or flex here at all. The table has these cutouts so you can keep things close at hand along with holes for the screwdrivers that they send with the kit. You also get this two position thread holder so you can wind bobbins while you're sewing. Of course something's got to hold all that weight up so Sailrite went beast mode on the stand also. While they're at it they made a treadle that's not going to go anywhere and got an industrial looking knee lift in it as well. That's all well and good. But it's this oil pan underneath it that really caught my attention. It took me a little while to get my sewing machine having a wet sump oil pan through my head. It even has a shaft driven oil pump. This is where I started thinking that Sailrite's just showing off here. But there's a whole bunch of heavy mechanical stuff in this machine so it needs oil. There's some little strings tied in here every now and then and you get a little note that says don't take them out because they're actually wicks that brings oil up to different parts of the machine. You don't have to get in here real often, but having a machine just lay over like that makes it handy. And this is all you do to close it up. And this is the motor that makes all of this happen. This thing puts out 550 watts with three quarter horsepower. And you start realizing just how much power that is when you see the bracketry that holds the motor in place. And it's easy to adjust when you do need to adjust it. When you have that much power, you wanna make sure that you don't have a belt that can slip. So to use a cog belt on this machine. When you have a three quarter horse motor on a sewing machine, you need a way to protect everything if you do find a way to jam this up. This is the Sailrite Posi pin and it has that groove cut so it shears off if you do find a way to jam this machine up. And this is the pin that we pull out if you want to wind bobbin separately from sewing. I notice people are going to vapor lock when they see that this is a stand up bobbin. It turns out that when you make it real well, it works great. I do put the bobbin in from underneath with the machine open because my hands weren't built for stealth. That little plastic thing in the foreground is a mere mortal bobbin. Behind it is the steel m size bobbin that the Sailrite fabricator uses. The bobbin winder has its own tension adjustment so you can tune this up the way you want it. And this package comes with an old school way of winding the bobbins that works great. And you can wind bobbins individually or you can do it while you're sewing also. The system is very simple to use, but very dependable. And it has an adjustable arm that lets you limit how much thread is put on the bobbins. When the bobbin gets to the level that you wanted, it stops by itself. It's not fancy and it's not electronic, but it works great. This is where threading the machine starts. It goes to this pre-tensioner here, and then it goes down to an actual tensioner, and back up to the take-up arm, and up and down to the needle. I'm past 70 and I was worried a little bit about being able to remember how to do all this, but it's really pretty easy. This is a true industrial walking foot mechanism and the thread goes actually through the upper and lower pressure feet. And that helps make for a very uniform stitch length. This is eight layers of canvas that I would never try and sew on my old machines. But this is quite literally cruising stuff for the fabricator. Because the upper and lower presser feet move together, it pulls the fabric through very uniformly. This is something the walking foot attachments just can't do. One of the things that amazed me was how slowly you can sew and not have any problem at all. That three quarter horsepower pushes the needle through eight layers and probably 16 layers, but I'm not trying any more than that. This walking foot mechanism is so consistent, you can actually sew right down the edge of a pile like this and it doesn't waver. This power, consistency, and control are just some of the reasons this machine is making our wing bags turn out better. Another important factor is the kind of threads that it can use now. This is a common spool of thread for a home sewing machine. And this is a big spool of heavy duty thread, again for a home sewing machine. This is a normal size spool of the V92 bonded polyester thread we use on a new machine. And finally, the kind of spools I buy now because I'm usually sewing from around 5 a.m. till 2 or 3 in the afternoon. You'd be surprised how fast I can go through a 4 mile long spool of thread. This is a normal home sewing thread, and this is the V92 thread that we use now. The new thread is triple the strength of the old stuff. 
I always knew that eventually I'd need an industrial sewing machine, and you guys kind of forced my hand. But now everything we make is stronger and better looking, and that's always a good thing.